Hello and welcome everyone. This is a session about Bridge by Smartsheet. Bridge is one of our more recent product launches, so I'm very excited to tell you all about it today. Before I do that though, uh, there is the matter of the legal slide. Uh, most of the things I'm going to, to show you and talk to you about is, is in market and in product, but there might be some future looking statements. And I am definitely also going to be mentioning a few uh, non-smartsheet products as part of it. So do uh, keep an eye on this for that reason. But uh, with that, we're gonna move on to the fun stuff. So my name is Ingrid Nylander. I'm the product manager for Bridge here at Smartsheet, and I'm going to spend the next 10, 15 minutes telling you a little bit about the background about this. Why are we doing this? What is Bridge and, and how does it fit into that? And I'm going to end with a, a demo to show you what the product looks like and, and how you can get started fairly quickly with it. So let's move on with that. The, the background to all this, like most of you will be uh, fully aware of, of all the technology and the applications that we've been given over the last couple of decades, really. And that's how it's connected us in ways we probably never could have imagined. Um, now, however, we're seeing that it's sort of causing a new kind of disconnect that probably also wasn't anticipated. Um, tons of research out there for this. They, we use on average eight applications per person per day in our job, which is quite a lot. But also, as, as our companies grow in size, so do those number of applications. So we're, we're not just adding people to those eight applications, we're, we're adding applications to our people. So it, it just grows and grows and grows. Um, obviously, we, we don't have access to all of these different systems. And so they now start becoming uh, information silos instead. And from not having access, we don't have visibility into all sorts of data that we, we really need to do our, our daily jobs. We have uh, traditionally tried to mitigate this with um, the more typical type integrations that, that do a very targeted thing or, or they require uh, development uh, skills or coding skills. Or we've even been, been uh, manually replicating data between different systems, which is not only really boring, but it, it really slows us down. The, um, the good side of all this, of course, is that it's, it's also made us work in completely new ways. I'm, I'm recording this from Scotland. I've got a team on the US West Coast helping me do this, which I think is a super cool way of being able to work. So we're, we're crossing borders, we're crossing time zones, we're in offices, I'm at home. Um, so there's all these new ways of, of doing our job. We are also are approaching the work itself a bit differently. We used to think more about you know, corporate monolithic uh, initiatives that ran forever. And now we prefer more agile, cross-functional, time-based or time-limited uh, projects uh, to work with instead. So technology has, has made massive changes to how and where and, and when we work. Uh, but we now need to make sure that it continues to empower us when we do that in that new way, rather than start to slow us down. That is where Bridge by Smartsheet comes in. Um, some of you listening was probably at Engage last year. You might remember that we did talk a bit about Bridge then. We talked about the potential of the products, where we saw it going and we're listening to stories from you. Um, and throughout the year, several of you have been part of, of continuing to provide feedback and input, which has been fantastic. So thank you so much for those of you who've been doing that. Um, I've been working with a development team that have just done a spectacular job making this product reality. So for me, it's it's really exciting that I can come back this year and engage and actually share the, the finished product, the in-market product, and, and take it from there, really. So what is it? Uh, Bridge is a no-code cross-platform process automation engine. So we have a drag and drop interface where you can visualize your processes, you can adjust them as they need to change or adapt to what you're doing or based on how your work changes. And with all this, that means that you can spend more time executing on the outcome of the processes instead of actually executing the processes themselves, which is probably where we wanna spend most of our time anyway. This happens by setting up various triggers that then drive actions, they make decisions, they make changes, and they can do this across your third-party platforms, your systems of records, or, or even your communication channels. So it's, it's a really powerful tool for you to use. What makes it even more exciting for me though is that the, the number of use cases are, are really are endless. Like it, it really comes down to what it is you're trying to do or need it to do. 
We talk a lot about marketing and IT here at Smartsheet, and, and Bridge is an excellent option for that. You can use it to manage your assets, manage your marketing campaigns, your leads, your accounts, your, your users. So there's lots of options there, but that's certainly not the limit to it. Um, we have uh, a few other sessions that engage this year where Bridge is showcased, and we've tried to to really spread out the different type of examples that we're showing there. So I'd, I'd really recommend that you go and, and look at some of those for more inspiration, um, but also uh, do contact us and come back to us with lots of use cases. I'm, I'm very excited for uh, learning uh, about new ideas and problems that you might uh, find Bridge can solve for you. So it's, it's going to be a very exciting new year coming uh, up for us as well. So with that, I'm going to show you the actual product. So as I said, there are other sessions to show different uh, complex complexity of examples. So I'm going to focus on uh, making you see what the product looks like and how quickly you can get started with some of our templates, for instance. So let's uh, dive into, we're going to start with a sheet. So this is a sheet for a uh, construction company. They focus on multi-residential buildings. And Patricia, who is the coordinator, spends the majority of her time in here. So you can see on this left side of it how there is an inventory item column where she keeps track of the, the items that need to be shipped to the different sites. So there's kitchen sinks and bathroom showers and, and all sorts of things. They get shipped to the site. Um, and then after that, Patricia needs to go through and, and coordinate what happens with those things. So she has to uh, assign the right team and, and pick an install date. And what often happens is once she's done this, the team or even Patricia herself will, will on the day of, sometimes as late as the day of, go and, and check what the weather forecast is because some of these projects, they're, they're weather dependent. And sometimes it's a bit of a scramble to try to get everything reorganized and replanned as they discover that actually the weather isn't the right type of the weather for, for this type of work. So that's what Patricia is hoping to, to use Bridge for. You can see we've, uh, we've prepped the sheet a bit here. I, I, you're all very well aware of how to manipulate sheets, so I don't want to bore you with that. But uh, there's a new column in here called weather forecast, and this is where we want that weather update to happen. But we don't want it to happen just for whenever the install date is picked. We want it to happen a few days before it and then continue to happen until the install date has passed. So what we're doing for that is in another column here that we're calling start weather updates. It's a checkbox uh, column. And there's also a formula in here that determines if the install date chosen on the same row falls within that three day window. And if it does, then the box is checked. And the reason we're doing that is because that's what's gonna be our trigger for the workflow. So I'm gonna start by uh, copying the sheet name because we're in the sheet and we're gonna need that. And then we're gonna dive into bridge. So what we're seeing here is the dashboard when you first log in. You can absolutely start with a blank canvas if you, if you know what you want to do and how you're doing it. But we're going to go to the solution center. This is where we have various templates that you can, uh, that you can start to build off of. Some of them are specific to a uh, system that you might use, and some of them are more generic to, to sort of help you get started. We're going to use the one called Weather Forecast here. And for that, we're going to use Dark Sky as the other platform. Uh, we're going to give it a name and get that set up. So as you can see here, there are two workflows part of this uh, template, and we're going to have to do a little bit of tweaking in each of them for it to get running, but it's uh, fairly minimal. So we'll pick the first one, the get forecast workflow. What will happen in this workflow once we've set it up is it triggers when the change occurs or when that checkbox uh, changes. And then we check to make sure that it, it's set. So we want to get the weather data. We then get the weather data back from Dark Sky. Now, Dark Sky returns this as, as several days worth of, of uh, weather forecast. So we want to make sure that we, we pick the one that's relevant to the install date. Um, and we do that using a, that second workflow, which is a child to this, this workflow that we're in. And as part of that child, we also um, update the row with the, the forecast that we've found. It comes back into this parent. And then the last bit of this workflow is basically to determine, should we run again tomorrow? If yes, schedule that, and it will continue to run um, until the date, install date has passed. So let's start with this one and set up the trigger in here. We're gonna do that from the integrations page. I have already um, authenticated or connected uh, Smartsheet because I'm using it for other workflows. So we just need to add a trigger to this. So as you can see here, I've got a couple other triggers already set up. 
and I'm going to create a new one. So because I know that this sheet is the only sheet with this name, I'm going to paste in the, uh, the sheet name that I copied earlier, but you can use the sheet ID if you have uh, the same name across multiple sheets. Next, we have to pick a, um, an event on the sheet that should cause the workflow to run. And so you can see we have lots of different options here when rows are added, when column values are changed and comments are added. Um, and we're going to use this column values are changed. Then we have to pick which column is it that we want to look at. And that we had called start, see if I can type, weather updates. And this is that uh, checkbox column that we had specified that we have the formula in. So when that changes, on that sheet, we want the get forecast workflow to run. And we're going to save that. And that's the trigger setup. The last thing we need to do is in the child workflow. So we we'll go back out to the dashboard, get to the list of our workflows, and find the post forecast workflow. In here, what's happening is we're finding the, the uh, uh, forecast for the install date amongst the next seven days that was return to us. And at the very end, we update the row with the forecast that we found. So we need to tell that bit of the workflow which column it is we want to put that into. And um, we had called that uh, weather forecast. So I'm going to type that in. And then we're going to save. And then going back out to the sheet, let's pick a date that is within that time frame, the three day window, but isn't uh, today or tomorrow. So we'll pick the 12 for that because it is the 10th day, 9th day, I don't know. Um, and as you can see, the uh, checkbox got uh, checked. And what's happening now is the workflow triggers. Um, it's running, getting the weather data, and uh, it should shortly update this weather forecast column with the, the data that was found. And there you go, Let's see what comes in here. And you can see that's rain overnight and expecting a high and a low of, of specific temperature. And now, because this date isn't uh, isn't today, it will be scheduled again tomorrow. So we'll show you back in Bridge, going back into the original parent workflow that starts the running. If we go into the run log that's on the side here, each time a workflow runs, it, it, it shows up in the list here in the run log. And so I'm showing you this so that you can see that at the end of it here, it's decided to schedule this workflow to run again. So it will continue to run and update the sheet with the latest weather forecast until the date has, has come. Um, that was the, that's the demo I was going to show. You can easily uh, expand on this example. You can connect it to your resourcing systems and make something that picks resources based on specific weather criteria that you want and availability. So there's multiple ways you can expand on this, um, but that's one, one version of getting started fairly easily. And before I leave you, I uh, gonna remind you to, to go check out our, our documentation online. There's lots to learn and read about there. If you are interested or have ideas or, or curious, contact your sales team or our sales teams. Um, do reach out with, with ideas for scenarios because we are really, really interested in, in learning what you think this might be able to do for you. Um, and finally, uh, go check out the Engage Brain Boost as well. We have a collection there of bridge data uploader and connectors, which is sort of our, our data suite of, of tools available to you at Smartsheet. So with that, thank you very much. And I hope you enjoy the rest of Engage.